So I'm back at Micro Center again today. And uh, basically, um, you know, when, when you have like a small office and everything and you have employees and everything, I ended up wanting to get another printer for someone else's desktop. The last time I did one of these reviews on one of these printers I bought, I bought um, a Hewlett Packard 4630. Now, since I already have like three fax machines and I already have a couple of printers, what I did was I bought a printer scanner that didn't have a fax machine. So this is the NV4500 and the reason why I picked this one was because both the 4630 and this one use 61 ink. Now, we already have black and white laser printers, but as you know, toner cartridges get expensive, and I try to do things on the, the most cheapest and efficient way I possibly can. So what I'm going to do is make a short review about this printer, but for the most part, I already know what to expect. the box, what you'll find is a Hewlett Packard NV4500 CD, and you'll find two sets of ink. You'll find one color, and you'll find one black, both of them numbered 61. Now, as I said, the last printer, fax machine scanner that I purchased used HP 61 ink, which makes shopping for ink much, much easier. Frankly, I don't like having to look for different ink cartridges, and I really like being able to buy everything at once. So from now on, any desktop printer that I buy will definitely use HP 61 ink. So, as for the CD, installation is pretty straightforward. You put the CD in the drive, the computer reads it, blah, blah, blah. It goes really quickly. Some computers already have the drivers to auto set up these printers, and they will do it themselves. However, if your computer doesn't have it because it's an older Windows XP or Windows 7, you just go on the Hewlett Packard website, and you can download the entire full feature driver, and it's like 145 megabytes tops and all of the software will be automatically downloaded. So if you have a netbook that doesn't have a CD drive, that's pretty much gonna be what you're gonna have to this do. This computer has Wi-Fi built in. That means that um, you can easily print off of your Galaxy phone or your iPhone. I only use iPhones. So um, once it's all plugged up and turned on, basically you open up the top of this to reveal the scanner bit. And then on the side, you open it up a second time in order to reveal the cartridge bay. The cartridge bay, all you gotta do is you uh, take out the garbage or the plastic protectors. And right here you have access, just like the 4630, to the color and the black cartridge holders. Now, it's absolutely amazing how much of these damn things is made of plastic now. And um, I've noticed a, I've noticed a, a serious downgrade in quality of uh, printers since everything started being made in China. And uh, there's no way around it because they've everybody's basically started making everything in China, and um, everything's plastic. The sad thing about it is, if parts of your machine break down, you can't simply you can't simply just fix a part. It would take you so much time and energy to fix parts until you'd be better off just buying a whole nother printer. And that makes me feel like an American consumer, a brain-dead American consumer. And uh, I don't like feeling that way, but there's no way around it, especially if you're trying to run a small business, you know? This section right here, just in case paper gets trapped or lodged in the gears, this section right here has a pull switch where you can take that section out and reveal the paper just in case there's a jam. So that's what that's for, just in case you were wondering. And it's relatively easy to fix HP printers. They're actually made very intelligently. I just wish they had higher quality materials. So now that I've just installed the cartridges, it takes about 10 seconds. Now I can go to the setup section. So right here you have the setup. It's very straightforward. Um, you just push basically up and down to set for English. And then right after that, yes, I do want English. And then you say USA. USA, yes, it's got less to set up because there's no fax machine in this model. But to tell you the truth, if you really want one of these things and you definitely need a fax machine, the 4630 at $100 really isn't that much more. So, I mean, you might as well, you know? I just definitely didn't need it because I already have a couple of fax machines, so I really didn't need it. Okay, yes, genuine HP ink is installed, yes. 
Now it's asking me to load paper so that it can print a test page and align itself. One thing that I don't like about these printers is that they don't really have a long tray. What they do have is they have this this plastic slide rule which is basically supposed to support the paper when you put it in. And I wasn't I wasn't really happy with that, but it's like that's just a design. So you just got to deal with it if you buy one of these models. So basically you put the paper in and then you print a test page. So basically it prints the alignment page and then it auto aligns itself when you put that piece of paper into the flatbed scanner. Again, there's no clearly defined document feeder so it prints the paper, it comes out, it lays right on top and it's a little sloppy honestly. That's one of the reasons why you're almost better off getting the fax machine because then you have the 35 page document scanner or the document feeder on the top which can also scan, you know. Yeah, so that, you know, the alignment page doesn't take very long, but um, this, this whole process probably takes about five minutes worth of setup. But most of you have already seen this, so unless you have a very specific question that you can add to the comment section, which I'll, I'll answer for you, you know, basically you've already seen alignments. You probably had to do it yourself. So then you have to open up the flatbed, you put this in it, and the computer goes to work scanning it. Place alignment page in and push continue and it's that simple. Very easy, right? Like I really like Hewlett Packard, but I tell you this, all this made in China shit really bothers me. All this fucking plastic. And I do understand that you're saving money in shipping costs and you're also um, saving the consumer money, but to tell you the God's honest truth, I'd rather pay slightly more for better quality. Unfortunately, right now you don't really have that choice. Alignment is successful. You push OK to continue, and then you continue to set the system up on the computer. So um, it asks you, do you want to set up a uh, wireless? You don't have to do it now. You could connect this computer directly via Wi-Fi, or you can connect it to the computer with USB. Either way, you still have full access to it if you have a cell phone or whatever. And if you buy a bunch of these, or if you buy two of these, or even one of these in your house, everybody in the house will have access to it. So, you know, you'll definitely want to keep a lot of paper in it, which brings me back to the fact that I'm not very happy with this document holder. Because if you have a printer like this where people in your household could print at any given time, what you definitely want is you want to be able to hold a lot of paper, a decent amount of ink, and you want to make it very convenient for anybody to simply locate it on your network and start printing right away. So, you know, whether it's travel directions or airplane tickets, whatever, you want them to be able to do it as quickly as possible and as easily as possible with no hassle. So, um, a better document feeder for this one would definitely be something that would have gotten it a higher score from me. After setting this printer's Wi-Fi up to the network, everything's ready to go, and it's ready to start printing as soon as you um, ask it to print. Accept terms? Yeah, I guess so. I guess you ain't got no choice. Printer can automatically download and install any or an available update. Turn on auto update? Why not? That's actually pretty good that these uh, Wi-Fi devices have that ability to automatically install new software. But for the most part, there's not a whole lot of new software that's going to come down the pipeline for a printer. It is good that they can do it. It's just like, you know, it, it, it gives you reassurance that you have a good product, I guess. So, the uh, Wi-Fi's signaling process typically seems to take about 10 seconds. So it sends information, 10 seconds later it starts downloading information, another 10 seconds later it's ready to start doing the next thing. So that's pretty good, right? Oh, it needs some paper. Let me slide in a piece of paper. Once. This would actually be good that if a printer could automatically print out coupons for you, that might actually make you more likely to actually go out and buy stuff for your printer because you're being reminded. It says pull out paper tray, load paper. All right, put it, put it one sheet of paper. Here we go. Go ahead. Go have at it. Have at it. Let's do it. Now print. Come on. 
there's a lot of thinking that goes on. It's too bad these things aren't a little bit faster, but you know. I only have one sheet of paper. I may have to load more. Come on. All right, hold on. Let me fix this. It wasn't all the way in. Let's try it again. There it is. Make the most of your printer. Sign up with HP Connected, blah, blah, blah. If you are setting up the printer for the first time, please continue to set up process and increase your mobile device. Okay, and that's basically it for right now. Um, it does say sign up required. It tells you that web services have been enabled. Good, okay. Install software, okay. I'll take care of that. And now you're ready to copy, scan, or print whatever you got. If you have any direct questions, just leave it in the comment box and I'll get back to it when I get back to it. But I'm usually pretty quick. Since the printer companies like HP, Canon, Epson, and Lexmark, since they know that most Americans can barely read or aren't very tech savvy, they've basically made it so all you have to do is pop the CD in the drive tray and it'll pretty much do everything itself. There's really no thinking required. All you have to do is just push the next button. Everything takes care of itself. So within 10 minutes, your wireless network printer is set up and um, there's pretty much no real issues if you want to connect it using USB all you got to do is take a USB wire plug it in and you're ready to rock in less than five minutes so basically I'm uh, printing just one picture just so you can get a good idea about the print quality but pretty much all of HP's technology pretty much does um, reasonably similar jobs and whatnot so, um, this will be the last part of my video. You know, the, this, these flatbed copiers, everybody pretty much knows, these things really come in handy when you have to, like, make copies of uh, legal documents or whatnot. So, you know, you shouldn't buy a printer without a flatbed, but pretty much all of them have it now. It's the best thing that ever happened to printers. Yeah, so... Okay, now I'm printing a full page photo. It's actually a new jet that uh, my flying club got. It's available for charter. Who knows, maybe on my iPhone 6 Plus I'll take a video of me flying. I haven't done a flying video in a long time. I think um, I definitely want to now that I got the iPhone 6 Plus. So now I'll be able to just, you know, set it up. I could get the uh, takeoff and the landing. But then again, my last flying video didn't really get that many views. So I got maybe try something different. Okay, so I didn't do a full page print, but uh, I did a, um, I did a regular, I guess you could call it draft quality print. And, um... For white paper, I mean, it's pretty good. This is a good printer for a student to have. I love HP's print quality, but this is draft quality printing right here. And uh, obviously you can turn the settings up and um, you can print on glossy paper in order to get better quality. But uh, for the most part, if you're a student or if you just need like basic printing done at home or in the office, if you just need copies done, uh, very basic copies of bills or whatnot, this is a really great printer.